is the Heat versus Nuggets final, is this good for basketball or bad? I say it's good. Okay. Because new people are winning rings. Mm. I don't know how that's bad for the sport. Only, only it may be bad for like the casuals who only watch ESPN and all them shows and care about superstar players and all that, but I don't care. I'm a basketball fan. Mm. So I want the best teams playing in the finals, and the best teams just so happen to be the Nuggets and possibly the Heat. So let me ask you this. So I'm not I'm not going to discredit what you're saying because you, you make a valid point. But when the Spurs and the Detroit Pistons or the Spurs versus the New the New Jersey Nets played in the finals, do you think that was good basketball? I wasn't. I, I didn't see those series, so I don't know. I'm. I'm just. I'm just saying because those were like some of the lowest rated series, and they were like very defensive minded series. Do you think that was good basketball? Or you think that was just not good basketball? Doesn't matter. I mean, if the other teams were better, they would have been playing in the finals. But if it's a defensive, it was a pre- pretty much a defensive showdown in. The Spurs, unless they're playing like a, a high-powered offense like the Miami Heat or great teams like that, they're pretty boring to watch. Then you have the New World, then you have the New Jersey Nets, you have the Detroit Pistons that are like defensive-minded, not very flashy at all. I'm not. I'm not saying your your point is wrong. No, I know. I, I mean, know your what point you're trying is to valid. Say. I know what you're trying to say, but like, I just. All that stuff is subjective. It, that that is true. That is true. But at the same time, yes, you, the best team. Yes, they're they're going to make the finals. That that is true. Miami Heat makes the finals. Okay, they're the best team. Nuggets made the finals. They're the best team. But at the same time, play styles, the way that they play the game, is kind of important as well in in determining. Okay, is this really fun to watch because if I think it's just the disconnect between how the sport is covered because think about when them when them when that when the Ravens went, made the Super Bowl what was that 2012 yes 2012 people was excited because you know their their offense was they were okay on offense but that defense is really the like selling point well versus you look at defensive minded teams in the NBA people don't want to see it well, first of all, 49ers offense was pretty was pretty yeah, good. Was. pretty good. <laughs> and then Baltimore, yes, they have Ray Lewis, but they also their offense, what I'm not going to say is like Peyton Manning Broncos, but it was still pretty solid with. We had Ray Rice, you had um Dennis Pitt and uh Tory Tory Smith, Anquan Bolden. Like they had some and then you had um Jacoby, Jacoby Jones, Jones yeah. caught, you know, kick off. So they they were entertaining in that. But I'll 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 um I'll go back to another Ravens team. Okay. Two thousand Ravens team against the New York Giants. You can't tell me that was a good that was a good game. Exactly. That was terrible. See, yes. Obviously the best teams are but gonna make it. But I don't I don't I don't think the Nuggets play born basketball. Th- no, they didn't. They did. I'm just saying I'm just giving you different examples. Of where oh you say you say are you saying is it good for the sport because the ratings are probably going to be lower? No, I'm 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 saying I'm just telling you that having two teams that let's say fans haven't sort of been watching that much per se, right? Right. Because, like you said, they the media hasn't really covered them that much and. They don't have their 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 playing style isn't the most fun to watch per se. But your point is valid for this reason: these two teams, I believe, their playing style isn't the Spurs back in the day or the Detroit Pistons, where it was pretty much defense. It was very sluggish. It's very boring. I think these two teams and the way that they play is more, more to the modernized. Team. It's more it's more modernized than ever because the Heat they rely on the three point shooting a lot. Like they've been winning because of the three point shot. 
uh, Nicole Jokic and the Nuggets, they've they've they have Jamal Murray who can create his own shot. He can get buckets to how you know go for forty or fifty. And then Jokic, he he's a passing magician and he can score in different ways. So yes, for this series potential series, your point is valid. But like in years past, if the Spurs would have made the finals and like a team. Like a, a terrible team, like a team that nobody really wants to see. The Spurs were like a team that if they didn't play like Miami or somebody, nobody really cared about them. Like they're they're great to watch when they're playing another like really flashy team. Mm-hmm. Like when OKC is playing them or when the Lakers are playing them. That's when the Spurs are. It's like, okay, I'm kind of hyped to see this. But when they're playing like I don't know, um, Detroit or the the Nets or uh, Cleveland with LeBron first stint. Yeah, they're going to be boring to watch. So, I think it is good for basketball because more attention is going to be on Nikola Jokic. It will be interesting how they market him. They, they do a pretty good job with Jimmy Butler. I've seen him in pretty, yeah. you know, plenty of commercials. He's everywhere. But Jokic, you don't see him in commercials. We don't really know his personality that much. He's a you ain't seen that guy. shirt he wore. <laughs> but I, the 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 old head, the the 2010 gamer shirt. I said we don't know it that much. Yeah. We, we we don't really know it that much. We haven't seen him a whole lot in commercials. I heard he's a pretty funny guy. I wish we would see him more in commercials. We we gotten Giannis in commercials recently, but we haven't gotten Jokic so. I think in the finals it's going to be very apparent to like really market Jokic because people, you know, a lot of people saying he's the best player in the world. You think he's the best player in the world, so if he's the best player in the world, then you have to market him like he's the best player in the world. Because if you don't, then all you're doing is just hurting your product because mm-hmm. he's the future of the league. LeBron is thirty eight, Steph is thirty thirty five, KD's thirty five, thirty six. You have to market your players that are the best in your league. And if you don't, then you're going to end up declining like baseball or declining like some other leagues. And you're going to be second fiddle. You're going to be third fiddle. So it's very apparent the NBA does their due diligence in marketing these two teams. Because if they don't, if they sit back like they did with Tim Duncan or with other these other superstars – you're going to lose. Like, uh, like Jokic, he should be getting shoe deals. He should be getting all these stuff, but he, he hasn't. I don't think he cares for all that stuff. He probably me. doesn't, but you you got to do something. Come on now. It's ridiculous. They need someone to market ever since the whole Josh stuff happened. Yes, and then and because the game is global, there should be no excuse for why basketball, the NBA sports, Specifically, the ratings shouldn't go to the roof because it's global. Well, also, you got to account for, like, they obviously can't count sh- ratings from, like, streams and whatnot. That's true. That is true. But um, I don't know. I don't know if, if they do the ratings because, you know, you, you always see, like, oh, on Twitter and stuff, they'll post the ratings. I don't know if that's domestically or if that's globally. That's the thing. I think most of it is like domestic. Domestically, because mm. uh, I know they always post like Super Bowl ratings. It's like fifty million, and those are those are just in America. Oh, you know, that's football. Just... Football is not very popular anywhere else. So, so they only post domestic numbers when as, it comes as far to as I believe. As far as I believe. football, okay, because well. it's a it's pretty much, it's an American sport. So right, right, right. But they just yeah, there's no excuse for them to not have more ratings when. You have like a global product, and then the, the media created too many casuals. And then let's and then let's put this to bed right now. More people play basketball than football. Yep. There's more basketball courts than football fields. I can go every, probably almost every neighborhood. They're gonna have a basketball court. There's gonna be somebody that has a hoop, a net, somewhere. Why isn't it more popular? Because they but don't the market thing it is, better. Though, that that and also, you know, football. You could just get by football, and you could play backyard football. You know, yeah, what I'm saying? you don't true. really need a football field. That's true. 
And like you could play football in the street, but basketball you need like to shoot a hoop to shoot on. But how many how many people do you see do that nowadays? Everybody everybody I see, every neighborhood I go to, they're going to the court. Yeah. They're not playing I'm not saying it still doesn't happen, but you don't see it as frequently. You don't see people playing football like that. As as they still do it, but not as frequent. Like it used to be a cultural thing, it used to be something you do all the time. But now it's just okay. Go to the court, go to the basketball court. That's what I that's what I see. But basketball hasn't improved. But the playoff series this year has been I doing think, really great, though. I will say that. With the playoffs? Yeah, yeah the playoffs yeah, they, they have been have, doing yeah. really good numbers. Yeah, but I honestly think I think people just don't like basketball as much, like, as far as watching it. Like, being know. honest, playing basketball is more fun than watching it. Yeah, yeah. Well, it depends. It depends. I don't know. I like it. It depends. It depends because – uh. If you if you trash if you your trash I mean that's different. If you trash a basketball, it's not going to be a whole lot of fun. Right. I'm sorry, and I'm trash at basketball now. Mm. Yeah, but like I, I don't. It, yes, marketing marketing definitely helps, but it I don't know. Like I think also that the football season is shorter, and it's on Sundays and Monday. Like it's on it's yeah. and it's a, it's a select time. Yep. So like it's a time where everybody's going to be awake and is going to be watching. This is what made the uh, conference final schedule great because they put it at eight thirty. Exactly. But with um, basketball, it's like here. And here's another thing with basketball, and the reason why people haven't watched Jokic a lot is because they put the Nuggets at like ten thirty. Like nobody's gonna watch the Nuggets at ten thirty on the East Coast, Bruh, Like remember the Christmas Day game? It was against I think it may have been the Clippers or something. It was against one team. It was the Suns. One of the best Christmas Day games in recent memory. But it was at ten thirty. Nobody's watching like that. People were gonna wake up and watch Sports Center. People and see had the, the itis about then. They ate Christmas dinner, was ready to sleep. Right, right. So you the have kids to... just playing their new Xboxes and PlayStation. They're not watching right. ten thirty basketball. Come on, man! Like nobody, nobody really watching that. So if you want to really get people to watch the Nuggets more, you're gonna have to put them in them eight thirty nine. Yeah, eight thirty seven o'clock slots. You can't just Keep putting him at ten thirty and expect people to all of a sudden just devote their time to watching a game until one o'clock in the morning. That's just not going to happen, unless you're like LeBron. And even when LeBron went to La- the Lakers, the I think the numbers went down a little bit because he went to the Lakers. So they 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 they've tried to change it. They went from to ten ten o'clock, but that's still that's still that's late. still late. Like you have to do nine o'clock. Nine o'clock is probably the perfect storm for people in the West and the East. And that's still kind of late. But that that's probably the best compromise you can make. And even still, it's still very tricky. But football, they've been able to get away with having okay, Sunday is pretty much an event. Yeah, Sundays, All these games. Like eight teams play at one o'clock. Four four or five teams play at one o'clock. Albeit, albeit they the streaming services for them, uh, God, the amount of money, zone. amount of money is just it's just crazy. But yeah, they they figured out a way. They figured out a way to implement these games at a certain date and at a certain time. And so, like one o'clock, four four twenty five, eight o'clock is the prime one prime time game, and then you have Monday one prime time game, eight o'clock, uh, Thursday prime time game around eight o'clock. It's the same formula. It's not like, oh, this game, you know, 1030. Like, no. During times when people are going to watch. But, anywho. um, And also, the one and done factor of football, especially in the playoffs, is really the yes. reason why the game. You, like, you could miss a game in an NBA playoff series. You'd be like, oh, I'll just watch the next one. That, that Can't do true. that in football. That is true, yeah. That sort of adds to the sort of unpredictable element of the uh, the playoffs, right? But this this police playoffs have been, I guess, the first time in a while where each series, not each series, but a lot of series have been unpredictable. First round with the Bucks, nobody expected that. Um, I forgot what. Uh, oh, people, you know, people thought the Lakers were. Not even gonna beat the Memphis Grizzlies or the or the or the Warriors, you know what I mean? Or uh, Boston nearly lost to Philly. 
the Hawks got two games on Boston. Like, there's, you know, there's been a lot of uh, unpredictableness, sort of March Madness type of element to it. And, yeah, I, I don't know if that's going to continue, but it's been good for the sport. Um, is there anything else that we need to discuss that we haven't discussed yet?